Everybody, welcome to day three of the Golden Goblet. The first two days have had uh, some dubious performances. Today we're playing Mr. Magnolia's Mini Putt. Excuse me, I was not ready to go. I would very much like to experience the story. It has been his lifelong dream to build his very own mini golf course ever since he was a little boy. That dream appeared to have faded with age, but two years after his well-earned retirement, Mr. Wesley Magnolia have reignited that sparked and has vowed. All right. That's all you need to know. <laughs> we'll start it up here. Um, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. I think that the first two days, honestly, mostly solid. And then a couple of truly terrible um, holes that just, I mean, were n not very good for us at all. Um, from reading the Steam reviews of this, these are all well-reviewed courses, by the way. I didn't just, you know, pick... Uh, courses out of a hat. I went to Steam's, like, most well-liked courses. Oh my god, we've done it. <laughs> uh, that have ever been released and picked stuff we've never played before. Um, but it did seem to suggest, if I remember correctly, that this was a little bit on the easier side. But you never know with Steam reviews whether it's actually easier or it's just somebody trying to golf flex on you. Okay, I got, I got a great idea here. Check this out. As long as you... It's okay. Don't let one stroke get you down. That was like two and a half. We gotta, we gotta send this at a little bit more like a 3.6. You can feel it. You can feel it starting to get under your skin. That's okay. You hit it at a th like a 3.3. 3.23 repeating, of course. Here's what I'm thinking. Don't try to cheat the system. Instead, just do that. If this spits me out of the back here, which it won't, thankfully, um, I never would have forgiven it. Accept your stroke penalty here. Oh, this would be a huge boon. It's not going to get there. It's not. Accept your triple bogey. Accept the triple bogey, unfortunately, and live your life. That was I, I handled that hole badly, but there's still plenty of time to come back. This is a par four. Like I said, an easier one. Hmm. I mean, there is... Come on, I'm not a coward. Mission failed. Mission failed in a big way there. I was really trying to get, like, enough of a... Enough leverage to pop out the right side, but you know what? Let's... Okay, we'll do it that way instead. Alright, so we're gonna ring around the freaking rosy. Pocket full of freaking posy here. I can live with that, believe it or not. And with five seconds of free cam left, do we got to do something like this. That was pretty much exactly what I was looking for, believe it or not. And then we'll just throw in a bogey, which I'm not pleased with, but I think we, it could have been worse. If we had gone like sunk, full sunk cost fallacy on that, that could have been worse. But we got to be dealing with the deficit here. Um, I'm going to assume that these flowers are solid. So I'm just going to aim for the gap. And, and try to make as much progress as possible. Now, with this being a par 3, we really just want to float it in. And we're hoping... Okay, that not getting a birdie on that one is a little stinky. But you know what? We got the job done. We got a par on that. We saw the course. We analyzed the course and, and got it done appropriately. This one. I mean... You're seeing it, I'm seeing it. There's a luge track right here. We could become Pierre Luders. He might have been a bobsledder, I can't remember. But I think we want to go up. Ladies and gentlemen. That might not get us much performance uh, gain against our competitors, but against myself and against my psyche, that's very helpful. So this one. My word. My word. That's, that's complicated, but I think you got to ricochet off of this with enough power to make it over the hump. That's nasty. To, to force you to full power that almost, that's a spicy meatball. But you know what? We're back out here. Just to be straight up with you, I do not think we're making it over in one single hit. So Mostly because of these rounded edges on the log. So my dream has been sundered from me. 
Maybe we we still got it. Thank God. My dream was to one putt and then put us into a good spot where we could uh, approach more easily. And it mostly worked out. Okay, we got a par four. Par four might be an opportunity to make up some time. These are both highly spiced situations. This is not an easy course. <laughs> I was lied to. Um, are we going to try to shoot the moon? If we shoot the moon, it's probably like a 2.3. Oh my god, it's so much less than a 2.3. Um, like a 2.1 or a 2 flat. Oh my god, it's even less than that. It's okay. Hit me with a 1.7. Oh boy, um, 1.88 repeating? Don't, come on, come on, come on, man. That's malarkey. You just posted malarkey. How about a 1.8, but at an angle? Have I lost my mind? I feel like my ball went through the, it, the my ball went through the level. I'm a little offended by that, I'm not going to lie. This this one's going to be devastating, okay? I'm here to tell you, Mr. What's his name? Mr. Mr. Malarkey? <laughs> this is a tough level. This is not an easy level. I think I, I was mistaken. I must have thought of an earlier level that had put us in this situation. Where, what? You can just fall off of it? Well, of course, there's also like, oh, this is just madness. This, this is just this this person who made this course just wants us wants us to suffer. I've realized now that you just want us to suffer. Um, did you notice that the hole at the top does not even have dimples that you could like fall into? It is what it is. We just shoot a 14. We just shot a 14 on that one. It was a par four. We shot a 14. That's poor. That's a poor setup. Um. I mean, the, the hole-in-one is kind of obvious here. But translating that into the right amount of power is, is pretty tricky. To hole-in-two would be pretty swell. You just gotta... Uh, yeah, 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 some momentum, please. And then we're not gonna quite touch the dimple, but it's gonna be a very easy par. I mean, I got I don't know what's happened. I feel like... I've been hit by, like, the Monstars from Space Jam. Like, the last three weeks of Golden Goblets have just been disastrous. Just, just... I mean, we're only three-sevenths of the way through here, more or less, but, uh... Just in general, it's been... It's been a pretty poor showing recently. You just gotta stop the tilt streamer, and, uh... That's, that's not helpful. You, you've done a non-helpful job here, to be honest, taking three putts to put yourself into this position. I feel like trying to take it gentle in, in mini golf is not always your best option in golf with your friends. Sometimes you just got to send it. This is a... Okay, this one. This one's definitely doable. It's got to be the most gentle touch you could ever ask for. There you go. Okay. you get Look, you might not be able to pull this one back to a great score. But inch by inch, row by row, you can make good shots, and those good shots could lead you to greatness in the future. That 14 is going to be pretty devastating, though. Okay, so you're going to go through the the windmill. Um, I don't. Wh where where does this spit us out? <laughs> well, it's going to make it a little harder to plan for. Um, just send it, dude. Please tell me the jump counted. No. <laughs> okay. How about don't send it instead? And do you think this ramp is enough? It's definitely enough. On the other hand... Oh, now you put the lip on it. Don't... Oh, my God. This course creator... Does not like us. He he wants us to suffer. We only shot a single bogey on this one. It's kind of a more wide open, easier hole, honestly. I 
realistically, I wouldn't look to this one as being an under par situation, but maybe we could we could still put down some scores of respectability. Okay, ideally, I don't know. To me, I, I can't see where the freaking holes go, dude. You think you go for... There's no way the hole in one would be the one that's straight across. It's got to be like this one. So just, just give it a try. You might, at this point... Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. At this point, you might as well try to shoot the moon, right? I, I don't know if I could live with myself if I didn't at least tempt, uh, attempt to shoot the moon here. We were saved on that one. To get a par on that one is great mercy. That's merciful. Sorry, we got seven holes remaining. You're a, you're a madman. It's, it's as simple as that. You want me to land it in the hopper? Sure, I'll land it in the hopper. Get ready. Jim, I'm coming home, baby. Honestly, not a terrible attempt. Okay, so we want to deflect around here, up the ramp, and then skirt. Do a little... Running in the 90s. I actually think we might have to... I think we gotta double bounce it. You see... That's how you get yourself into trouble. When you, when you get greedy... You get greedy for good reason, that's good. When you get greedy for uh, bad reasons... You're playing with fire like Kevin Federline's only album. Still, the double bogey on that is not very good. You know you're in a bad spot when the double bogey really feels like, you know, you're, you're bringing your A game. But apparently that's where we're at. What, what is this? What is this madness? I mean, I'm... What, what is this madness? You want me to hit this thing? This is 2.1? Nope, you do not want me to hit that thing. Fair enough. Um... Free me, please. Thank you. I mean, is this... It's, it's a little ramp. I don't know. Can we make it? We cannot make it across. Okay. Uh, I feel like this is one of those ones where if you were playing game theory, you would just not shoot for the next 90 seconds and take whatever penalty they see fit, fit to give you. Um, the only other thing I could think of is just smack this. Like, I can't imagine that it's going to work for us. To do that, but... Oh, it totally did. <laughs> it totally did. Okay. Well, with two seconds of free cam, I'll tell you, we got to get ourselves into a spot like this. And then you know we're going to have to come up over this thing and then stick. Because, oh, I thought, I thought for sure they would yeet me out of existence. I think we don't have to worry about this. Oh, we totally have to worry about that one. Um... So with 40 seconds left, I'm being 100% sincere when I say this. The play for us is safety. Get over the humps. And then take a big shot on this one. Because I think if you went for it all in one, you might have made it. But if you didn't, you probably would have stroked out. I mean, even doing it like this, we're going to have like less than 10 seconds remaining probably. I was still, we, we 10 shot at a par 5. It's kind of a hard course though. We got five holes left. My God, it's going to be a long Golden Godwood episode by, by Golf With Your Friends standards. It's very simple. Get into the water wheel. There's no way this is the hole in one, but I've realized, if there even is a hole in one, I've realized that the extra degree of safety makes it worth checking. By the way, I have no, I have no indicator. Um... Joke's on you. I don't even need an indicator. In many ways, I would say I'm stronger without the indicator than with the indicator. <laughs> and we're, we're good to go. If we could shoot under an 80, I would consider this acceptable, I guess. Which is, uh... You want to talk about moving the goalposts? Consider them consider them moved. What, what if you fall down here? I don't know, man. I'm going to be honest, kind of don't know what you want from me here. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna play it safe for once. We're going to do this. 
And then we're going to go safely across. And I think we got to make like the jump of the century here. Don't let the green tiles make you think this is an easy level. This is a, this is a devilish level. Like, there's so many elements. After we already went through the physics nightmare, you're going to give me a little dip on the green? It's insanity. I mean, it's never stopped me from getting the par because I'm one of the best golfers uh, in miniature form out there. But still, that's that's tricky. That's a, that's a spicy one. What do you want from me? What do you want from me here? I don't even know which one of these is the hole. <laughs> it's got to be you, right? Let me out. It, it has to be. If this isn't it, I'm chalking this up to course design. I mean, it's a par 3. Let's go. Okay. I mean, we might make up some strokes on that one from people not knowing where the hole is. I We take those. We take those. That's all I'm going to say. This is, this is a hard one. Okay, up, up the incredibly convoluted twisting ramp. Through... You know what? Take one putt to safety. And take me through Serpentine Alley. The short way. Take me through Serpentine Alley. The, the very, very long way, actually. It turns out the very, very long way. This course is like a marathon. Just making it to the end of each hole is like... Is worth something. Uh, there's so many gaps. This thing is like... It's leaking like a... Canucks goaltender prior to the Roberto Luongo era. It's like trying to hold on to a balloon... When you're Edward Scissorhands, like we got leaks everywhere. I don't know what I expected. Good, that was good physics, good physics. We got to get it on this one, otherwise we get a two-stroke two penalty. <laughs> All right, well, if we shoot under a 90, I'll be very pleased. Oh, this is a classic. This is a classic. You know what? Just send it, dude. This is a classic mini golf hole right here. Maybe like a like a 3.1. Oh, okay, 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 okay. But if you get it, if you get it right, Mr. Magnolia will get you a free game. As a 3.22 situation. Oh, that's Dead ahead. All right. We shot uh, a 90. Hey, I'll take it. We only shot 1.5 times what you were expected to. Speaking of which, if you enjoy the episode, number one, check out Dan and Melf. They're playing the game as well. You can find those links in the video description below. If you want to follow along with the Golden Goblet, goldengoblet.net, to see where our scores are collated and calculated. Of course, if you watched all 18 minutes and 37 seconds up to this point, I'm going to assume you liked the video. If you did, I ask one thing. Click the like button. It's a one-click free button that sends a message to YouTube that says, hey, show this guy's content to more people. Helps me out. Pardon me. Helps me create a growing, thriving content creation environment. I appreciate it a lot. Apart from that, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for your comments. And I'll see you next time. See ya!